Greetings from Pike Place Market in Seattle, Washington, everyone. The time is 9 a.m. And the weather is very lovely with blue skies. And the temperature is 63 degrees Fahrenheit. It is an amazingly beautiful morning here in Seattle. And currently I'm sitting here at my, uh, my place of Zen, enjoying my cup of coffee. Sitting here for the last few minutes, just soaking in the, the views. Currently I have this whole entire area to myself here. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of people here already. It's 9 a.m. I actually, uh, I started my, my, I started my morning quite early. I actually had wanted coffee from Storyville today. And uh, I went, I went to the Storyville on First Avenue, First and Madison, the corner of First and Madison and realized that they um, don't open till eight thir uh, till 9 a.m. And so I ended up having to get coffee at Ghost Alley Espresso, which is totally fine. It's great, great coffee. Four dollars and 13 cents with tax. A little bit more with tips. You get that great big cruise ship. The Norwegian Encore. All right, so today we're going to be doing what I think will be a long walk. This is going to be a uh, monthly walking tour for the month of July. I have to turn off my phone there. This is going to be a walking, uh, walking tour for the month of July. Now, I actually uh, sort of did a walking tour last week here. Stopped by and I did what I called a hangout Pike Place Market video. However, the uh, the video quality was horrible after I looked at it. And uh, it wasn't really a walking tour anywhere. I just, I mean, I walk, sort of walked through the market, but it was more about hanging out in this area. And so this is a full on walking tour. We're gonna walk through the market. And then I don't know where I'm gonna end up at the end of this walk. <laughs> I have some, some things in mind. So this is one of those walks that's going to be a longer walking tour. A lot of people like, like uh, longer videos, longer uh, walking tour videos. Others, Mm. lean towards shorter videos or even short form videos something like uh, five minutes or eight minutes or something this one <laughs> this one's gonna be much longer so just want to put that out there we're gonna do lots of walking we're gonna see a lot in this video so let's get rolling. All right, we are looking at the waterfront project. This is the waterfront project here. It's gonna take a long time bef before this, uh, this is completed. Currently, I think it's going to be completed in 2025. This is going to span all the way from Pioneer Square, King Street, which is many blocks down that way. You can sort of see the two stadiums in the distance there. So a little bit north of there, all the way to Belltown, which is many blocks north of here. In total, this will be about, this is like a 20 acre project. And something that sort of delayed this project, I think was the, uh, there was a strike with the concrete workers. Mm. So that's what I, wanted to sh uh, show you first and foremost now let's go upstairs let's go back upstairs and check the view from up there by the way I may have another video coming that is going to be about touristy things in Seattle I had a uh, well she's still with us and um, I'm talking about my wife's cousin from France. She's visiting from 
from France. Her name is Esperance. And yesterday I served as tour guide for her and Amanda for, um, for that matter. We did a lot of very touristy things, including we went up the Space Needle. We went to the Amazon Spheres for an early dinner. And then we also went here. Well, not here. We skipped Pike Place. We skipped Pike Place Market, believe it or not. By here, I mean the Great Wheel. So yeah, we did. We did many different things. And just a look at a bird. I don't know why I wanted to show you that. <laughs> um, So we went, to, we went to the Great Wheel and she actually liked it. You know, she's 14 years old. I asked her after we got off the Great Wheel, I asked her, hey, Esperance, if you could pick one thing, one amenity between the Great Wheel, you know, the Ser 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 Seattle Ferris Wheel and the Space Needle, which would you pick? So what a 14 year old from France said was the Great Wheel. Granted that we went there at night and it was really beautiful last night. Clear, clear skies, like just like right now. Look at the mist, or um, yeah, the mist, sort of blocking the lower half of uh, the Olympic Mountains on that side of Elliott Bay. It's a beautiful view here. I know they have background. A lot of people, they when they see the Seattle waterfront, they instinctively think of the waterfront, the Fisherman's Wharf, the waterfront in San Francisco. And then someone said, oh, yeah, it's kind of like the waterfront in San Francisco, except that it's bigger. And to which I thought, is it really bigger? That's what she said, right? <laughs> no, no, but uh, I did think that when I read that comment, because I thought that San Francisco's waterfront was, was bigger. Not, necess not necessarily better, but bigger. So you can see people are still setting up. You know, 9 o'clock to me, 9, 9.30 is a great time to hit up the market. As with many markets um, in general, and in the U.S. and everywhere else, too. You want to go early. A lot of markets are actually called morning markets because, you know, because they're morning markets. <laughs> That's when, th that's when things happen. That's when you get the best pick of produce and, and whatever else that uh, you might end up buying. So yeah, the vendors are still uh, setting up. And today, I don't always do this and I haven't been doing this in many of my walking tour videos for the past many months, I don't think. I can't remember that I did that last month or the month before. I'm sort of in a flower mood. So we're gonna go through this aisle here and look at some of the beautiful flowers here. Pike Place Market is known for many things. One of which being these beautiful flowers. What would Pike Place Market be without these flowers? And uh, those are the prices down there, $30 for the bigger bouquets and then ten dollars for this for that variety there there's also dried flower arrangements twenty dollars I mean some of the best value anywhere for flowers right let me know in the comments if you agree with that one and I ask that because I haven't been to every farmer's market or I haven't been to every city in the U.S. I would love to do that, actually. Just go to every city in the U.S. <laughs> and check out their farmer's markets, you know. So I don't know what prices are like. I don't know what flowers cost in other corners of the U.S. I don't know. But I do hear from time to time that there's a lot of value here as far as uh, what you get for your buck for flowers. These guys aren't even open yet. 
it's quite early, that's why. So yeah, we're just gonna walk through this corridor. Mm. Those are the lower lo uh, levels I've gone down there before. I'm not gonna do that in this video because I imagine it looks the same. Imagine nothing's changed much. Now, these guys are still setting up here. So, lots of flowers. Those samples, I'm just cruising through you guys. Those samples, definitely worth trying. I've tried, I've tried them before, more than once. Yummy. A little pricey, but it's Pike Place Market. Definitely yummy and worth the taste, worth the try. Lowell's or Lowell's. Fantastic place to sit and eat. Come early so you can get uh, a nice table. Actually, I don't think there's really a bad seat in the house, in the restaurant. Beautiful westerly views of Elliott Bay. How much is, okay, Alaskan snow crab is $52, $52 a pound. Uh, Dungeness crab is $19 a pound. <laughs> I'm paying attention especially to, to crab uh, prices because uh, I love crab and I ate a bunch of crab when I was in Vegas two, two, three weeks ago at the buffet at Caesar's Palace. I think I, think I got my money's worth. It was like a $90 buffet. Expensive, but uh, you know, it's not something you do all the time. So we really treated ourselves on that trip. So more flowers here, more and more flowers. Different vendors, there's many different vendors here. So at the end of this corridor, of course, is the uh, Pike, uh, Pike Place Fish Market where they throw fish. And this place here greets you upon arrival if you arrive by way of the main entrance, which is right here. And I want to take a look at that clock to see if they reset it or put batteries in it. <laughs> oh yeah, see it's 9.14 a.m. Yeah, they did. Good job, Pike Place Market. I think a month ago, the clock was dead. So it's up and running again. Let's see if we can catch them throwing fish. Not a huge deal if we don't. I've caught them throwing fish in many of my previous videos. Oh, okay. That's great. They got a tip. I think these guys want to see them throw fish. Let's see. Let's see if they'll. Let's see if they'll do that. <laughs> Decent sized crowd here right now. So you can order uh, fish shipped, of course. Is it gonna happen? There it is. See that? There it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I had to ask, uh, ask add a, uh, a fun um, laugh at the end there. This is where you come out to fart. If you need to break wind real quick, don't break wind when there's people around. Come out here and break wind. Look at the water while you're breaking wind. Yeah, this is a 
just breathing a breathing space really but there's doors to businesses and stuff like that you know I joke around sometimes all sorts of businesses here some of which are closed including Raven's Nest treasures this place is closed and they're only let's see what are the hours yeah they're closed Sundays they're open Monday or Thursday well they're open Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday closed Friday Saturday Sunday and they're encouraging you to wear a mask um, at that place of business gum wall yeah, some people down there Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, see? There's a few people down there. Hmm. This place is open for business. It has been. You're going to see a lot of people here later on in the day. This is where you can enjoy your food and hang out they got tables and chairs and counter space here for you you can enjoy your food that you purchase from the many various vendors here including the vendors at the economy market right here economy market where things are just a little bit more affordable daily dozens a great great place for donuts, coffee. And this is where the newsstand used to be. And this corner here keeps evolving, I see. Wow. Used to be just table or yeah, like tables and chairs. Now it looks a little different. You know, nothing stays the same. Everything changes. All right, well, thank you for watching this video and walking with me. Just kidding. I'm going to keep going because this is going to be a long video. Mm. We're not done yet. We go straight that way for about a mile. Capitol Hill. Before Capitol Hill, well, downtown Seattle. The commercial, uh, you know, shopping, shopping zone. A lot of people coming to the market look at that they're coming to america they're coming to america uh, today uh, today all right we're gonna walk this way she told me to walk this way down this way let's take a look at cherry prices $8.99 a pound. Wow. My favorite right there, uh, Rainier Cherries. So, same price. Same price. And these are big cherries too. Wow. These are bigger than the ones that I picked recently. Yeah. Amanda and some relatives went and picked cherries. I actually made a video. Watch that uh, video if you'd like. Just to see what the cherry picking um, experience is like here in Washington State it's like three or four videos previous to this one that was like a month ago I think but um we went to Wenatchee for that two and a half a two and a half hour drive from here east and a little to the north so sort of northeast from Seattle 30 minutes past Leavenworth, which is an awesome place to visit. Leavenworth is a German, quote unquote, German town. It's like a Bavarian village. Anyway, um, I think it's one of those places that's worth visiting year round, that too. So, not just um, during the summer, actually, during the winters when. I really like to go there if I can make it there because it can be difficult to get there um, due to 
snow and such. All right, now we're uh, at this part of Post Alley. I didn't realize how early I came here. <laughs> it's kind of a trip to be here where I'm like the only one, I'm like the only human here right now. Usually this place is flooded with people. Flooded, like I could wait in line right now, coffee in hand of course, and be the first person for a cup of award-winning clam chowder. Look at that. New England's best clam chowder in 2019. New England's best chowder 2018. Well, what happened in 2021 20, and 22? Who won those awards? Only the internet knows. Yeah, look at them getting ready. So if you get chowder here, I advise that you get them in a bowl. See those bread bowls? Yummy, yummy, yummy in your tummy. Yeah, this place is going to be super busy in about an hour. We're getting close to the 1030 mark right now. So yeah, about an hour from now, it's going to be super busy. All right, from here, where do we go? We can go east. That spot up there, you guys. Uh, that spot up there is a great place to stand and take selfies and photos in general because from there you can get a view of that iconic sign one of the iconic pike place or public pike place market this one says public market um the other one over there says pike place market but this one says a uh, public market anyway it's where you can get a a uh, shot of that sign, uh, sign with Elliott Bay and uh, and uh, a little bit of the market in your frame. It's higher up, so you can get you can get a view of the water from that vantage point versus the main entrance back there. All right, let's uh, see what they're up to here at. This cheese place. We got cheese. Not chow cheese. This place reportedly has some of the best mac and cheese in the world. There's heavy security presence here. What is brewing? There's a woman sunbathing there. That's fantastic. Uh, Beecher's handmade cheese. So, if you've been watching these walking tours for a while, maybe there's a few or more regulars. Um, have been watching. You, of course, notice that I'm showing the same stuff. Like Dennis, you're just showing us the Pike Place Market and talking about the same old thing. Well, this started out as a walking tour to sort of document the market and Seattle because I began this series right when a thing called COVID-19 hit. And things were crazy and insane back then. And the market looked like it had died, actually. <laughs> All of Seattle did, for that matter. If you look at my videos from two or three years ago, yeah, really crazy. So anyway, going off on a tangent, back back to the matter at hand. Um, so these videos sort of end up being, a, you know, hanging out with Dennis sort of videos after a while. So um, you can just call me your virtual buddy. Maybe I'll call, maybe I'll change the name to uh, Seattle Virtual Buddy. How's that sound? Okay, this is the long, long line at Starbucks. The Starbucks that's Seattle's first Starbucks. That's actually not Seattle's first Starbucks. And that's because, uh, yeah, they moved a few doors down. Oh, it's really good to see these guys here with their artwork. Wow, awesome. 
Mm. Yeah, these vendors are back along the sidewalk here. So it's great to see. I'm gonna check out this Turkish delight place. Someone had commented, hey Dennis, have you tried Turkish coffee? I think that's what they said. And I wonder if they were referring to this place. But this place, oh, it's not open yet. But they didn't sell coffee. Oh, they do. Turkish espresso. Oh, for $3.95. Wake up and smell the robust aromatic brew that will wow your senses and tickle your taste buds. That's what it says. I do want to get my taste bud tickled sometimes. And on Sundays, place opens at 11 a.m. Oh, too early to experience this place, but I will make a mental note. All right. From here, we can go to the park and uh, look at how big that that ship is. <laughs> Norwegian Encore. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go up this way. See how sporadic and random that was? We're going to go up this way. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, routes that you can take to get here from Seattle Center, Space Needle, Lower Queen Anne, the northern end of Belltown, that sort of thing. Because I get asked that quite a bit actually. People message me and ask me, Dennis, we want to go to Pike Place Market from the Space Needle in Seattle Center. We're staying around the Sp uh, Seattle Center area. What's the safest route to take? Because we hear there's a lot of crime. And of course, we're worried about safety. So, which way should we go? <laughs> Sorry for the huffing and puffing. <laughs> been eating, <laughs> probably been eating too many donuts. Uh, I like this place, feels like Europe. I like Europe. I love Europe. Um, oh. <laughs> um, what was I? Oh, double decker. All right, so um, where I was at was uh, yeah, this is this is the Virginia Inn. I think I'll come here and sit here with Amanda one day and just pretend one one vacation, or even by myself. Maybe I'll come here and have a cafe, uh, caffeinated or alcoholic drink just chill so um the safest way to get here by foot that's what i was talking about before i went off on a tangent is in my humble opinion to take first avenue which is this street that we're on here you see sales centers over there this is first avenue this is going to be probably the quote-unquote safest to me I mean, to me, yeah, it, it is going to be the safest, but I mean, there's second Avenue is, is fine too. Third Avenue gets, can get a little nasty, you know, along the third and uh, Pike and Pine corridor, the infamous Pike and Pine corridor. And so I would take first Avenue. Okay. I would walk westbound so i'm not going to walk all the way to the seattle center from here and i'm i'm filming in this fashion just to give you a sense of what it might look like to walk these streets so it's not a lot of editing or maybe maybe none at all in fact <laughs> no editing in this one so again seattle center is over there capitol hill and you know i say capitol hill because it's a really popular area of seattle 
you know, shopping area is in that direction. So Seattle Center to get to Pike Place Market, which is over there, we just came from there, you can take one of the many um, major streets you can take. You know, you can go, you can go to 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, and then cut through on Pike. But I would go to 1st. I would walk down any of those streets up there. Broad is one of them. Make your way to 1st Avenue and then go south until you get to the market. You can also do 2nd. Now, this is 2nd here. And, you know, second sort of looks like, like this. Or, um, you can take, you can take third. <laughs> but the reason third is not a good choice, according to a lot of people, is, uh, because there's some spots on third that are a little, to a lot, depending on when and, you know, what time of day and how the city and the police are deciding to behave and that sort of thing which that includes politics and stuff right which we're not going to get into that i mean it depends on a lot of different things but third does have its spots and i'm gonna walk i'm gonna walk to one of those spots from here and show you why third is is not the street you want to take if you are going to ask me that question and if you have if you have anxiety or you have a lot of fear but want to visit Seattle that's what I would say now sometimes I'll say you know honestly just be um, just be vigilant about your safety you know and uh, well-being and uh, just always be careful and I say this too carry pepper spray carry mace get one from Amazon have it delivered to your hotel or you know put in your suitcase on the airplane or whatever they're only five there's like ten dollars you can get some for five ninety nine um, or cheaper if you really look but say ten dollars right put on your keychain carry that I mean do the things that are legal And that, uh, you know, will keep you safe. And maybe you want to do things that are illegal. <laughs> That's really on you. <laughs> okay, so I'm on third now. I'm on third. And I've, of course, walked this path before, but it's been many, many months. I've not done this in many months. So let's see what, let's see what third avenue looks like. And, um... Late July, late July 2022. So behind me, behind me, there's some patches that are not very friendly. One patch, there's like a, a, a I'm talking about a park. I think it's called Belltown Park actually. I think that's the name I forget there's a dog park there but it's not the you know it's not especially at night it's not where you want to hang out at during the day or morning time like right now it's fine so this is what third avenue looks like and uh, we're almost we're almost at the McDonald's. <laughs> the McDonald's is a, uh, it's a popular McDonald's in more ways than one. <laughs> and then I think they're still open, maybe just a window. Oh, look at this dude with the stroller and his dogs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking west. <laughs> I 
the old Macy's building now closed. I think someone else leases before Macy's by the way this used to be the Bon Marche. Anyone remember the Bon Marche? The Bon Marche. They used to have a commercial for the Bon Marche. And they, they had a jingle. Well, how did the jingle go? It went, um, oh, it was like a, for their one day sale. And it went something like, one day only at the Bon Marche. <laughs> All right, there's the McDonald's I was talking about uh, over there. I didn't mean to use my middle finger to point, point to you. Um, the McDonald's it's over there okay and as you can maybe see there's there's kids there's there's a family or families there's adults and kids ordering food right now from that window so having said that you know you can do you can do things here you can order from McDonald's for one of the most notoriously uh, unsafe areas of Seattle. Just have to be careful. Mm. Mm. Alright, so Red pike and oof, sneeze. Mm. Avoid, avoid. I'll try not to breathe in his sneeze. Um, so there's McDonald's once again, and this is the infamous Pike Pine Corridor on Third. And there's a Seattle Police Mobile Precinct Park right there. You know, interesting how that helps to uh, curb crime, right? Pike Place Market. So you can come on 3rd and go to Pike Place Market this way. But again, I would prefer to take 1st or 2nd. I would take 1st. 1st, 1st, 2nd, 2nd. Alright, so now we're going to walk to uh, the next street over. A lot of buses. A lot of buses run through this street and uh, a lot of people are gonna say oh, this is really corny Dennis there's there's no action on on this street there's no action here what are you talking about you know and uh, to which I say well it's morning time and nothing stays the same many months ago or a year ago, two years ago for sure. Why not? Look very different here. See that Piroshki uh, place? They're still closed. They went out of. They they closed. The owner was on the news. She was interviewed, and she talked about how she just couldn't uh, stay in business anymore due to all of the bad things that were happening. So this is Walgreens here, and uh, this is Pike Street. So this is what it looks like on Pike Street, and this is why from Seattle Center. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open because some people, some people, when I'm too explicit, I almost said honest. I don't want to offend people is what I'm saying. I want to leave this, I want to let this channel continue to, uh, allow this channel to continue to be a channel. Okay, there's, you know, there's people just hanging out. I want this channel to continue to be a channel that people can watch and enjoy and be entertained too sometimes. You know, do a lot of different things on this channel. So, definitely not a political channel. But a lot of people, you know, when I um, my, my camera's looking at something and when I point my camera at something and I say something, they're like, oh, there's people hanging out, man. 
you see you see uh, what side you're with blah 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 well, let's go this way I'm like I'm not on any side I'm on the people side actually <laughs> But I'm also a citizen who is concerned about safety and well-being for all of us. And so I'll leave it at that, you know. And I agree. Sometimes you see people hanging out in groups. They're just hanging out. Sometimes they are just hanging out. But what I'm seeing... <laughs> These people are not just hanging out. <laughs> but, you know. It is a free country. Um, one of the things I love about America is, you know, the, the ability to express yourself. Say things that, that make your heart sing. Things that ring true to your soul. You know? So... We had a full circle here, didn't we? Back to the market. Back to the market. And this has been a 41 minute walk. And I feel like we could end here. But I uh, want to keep going a little bit more, if that's okay. Why did this place close? Look at that. Wow, Starbucks established 1971. This is like a big Starbucks store. I wonder if they're actually, I think they are, yeah, it looks like they're closed permanently. Wow, how interesting. I didn't know that. Maybe I knew but forgot. Here's a smoke shop, smoke plus. Now we're going to walk down First Avenue, south of the market. Ooh, that smells like urine right there. Here's one place you can park for parking. Mm -hmm. You can park here. But I'd say park... There's more parking lots behind the market, on the water side of the market. That's where I would park. If you're gonna park, uh, if you're gonna park on one of the parking lots, uh, using one of the parking lots, I park on the street. I always, I always, this is true. I always find parking on the street, and I like coming on Sundays because it's free. But I'm a local and I'm not a tourist. I have more time. If you're a tourist. Yeah, pay 20, 30, 40 bucks so you can park all day. You know, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. It's probably safer too. And uh, as far as safety as it relates to your vehicle too, do not leave valuables in your car. Can't stress that enough. Do not leave valuables in your car. Put stuff in the trunk. That goes, that goes for... Um, Okay, we're gonna walk to uh, Harbor Steps. So, we're almost to Seattle uh, Art Museum here. Actually, we're here now. <laughs> SAM! Which stands for Seattle Art Museum. And then we're gonna cut across the street to uh, Harbor Steps. So yeah, San Francisco, New York, LA, I mean, most any city. Big or small, really. I, I, I never leave valuables in my car. Never. I, I, I hardly even want to leave my uh, phone charger cord exposed, visible in my car. wonder what's going to happen to this building, the old, uh, this old building here. that used to house a lusty lady <laughs> which is an adult entertainment place lusty lady I miss their signs that they would put up they would cycle through signs one of my favorites was uh, and, and by signs, I mean funny signs. One of my favorites was um, 
More takeoffs than Boeing. <laughs> Looks like uh, this main entrance is temporar temporarily closed, everyone. Uh, there's a gentleman there recycling cans. Looks like he has a fair amount of cans, too. Oh. Mm. All right, we're going to cross the road and make our way to Harbor Steps. And, uh, you know, being here, so now we're sort of at the um, Pioneer, Pioneer Square is, is down that way is a, a little bit more, but we're definitely um, at a place where it starts to transition into old Seattle if you keep going south. So this is Harbor Steps. You can sit here, enjoy your coffee, food. This is Seattle, so you can also enjoy your marijuana smoke here. <laughs> I'm joking. While uh, catching views and their wonderful sea breeze. Oh, the breeze is nice right now. So being here, Reminds me of uh, when we used, used to come here to Ipanema, which was a, a Brazilian steakhouse. They moved to Bell, uh, they moved to the northern end of Belltown over there, and we actually went there a week ago for dinner. Great place for dinner. You like steak? Wow, someone's really screaming or yelling. Oh. Oh, they're using choice words. Let's get away from choice words. They're using choice words. All right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go down the flight of um, stairs here. Be careful. Watch your step. Watch your step. These are friendly steps. Look at how how small the steps are. Look at that. Really friendly. Wow, that guy, he got some vocal cords on him. Could still hear him from like far away. Be a singer or something, vocalist for a grunge band. I don't think grunge is in anymore. I miss those. Wow, I could still hear him. Wow. He's still using choice words. So. This is uh, what it looks like down here. It's a busy area when it's uh, hop in here because there's you know shops and restaurants and stuff down here. And uh, from here, I'm going to go. We could go that way or this way. Let's go this way. No, I changed my mind. Let's go this way. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy is mad at somebody. Or, or something. He's still screaming away. Yelling away. Alright. Um, we're now at Western. Oh yeah, this is a long walk. It's 48 minutes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's make it be an hour. I've not made an hour video, hour long video in so in a long time. So let's do that. Water feature. Yeah, this has definitely turned into a hanging out with Dennis video. And I appreciate y'all for Hanging out with Dennis for this long. In fact, that way is back to Pike Place Market, but we're not going to go that way. We're going to walk to the waterfront. Getting my steps in. I really did uh, eat a bunch of donuts yesterday. Um, going back to what I was saying earlier about being a tour guide um, to Amanda's cousin from France, Esperance. Which Esperance, Esperance. If you're French or no French, let me know how you pronounce that. I'm trying my best. 
it was an American, I should say Esperance, but I asked her how, like her mo mother and you know, how, how you pronounce her name in fr uh, French and she said Esperance, <laughs> which means hope. And I, to which I said, wow, that's a beautiful name. And it sounds beautiful too. So uh, we were way, way up there at the beginning of this video, way up there. And now we're down here. And uh, two or three years from now, this is gonna look vastly different. I'm gonna walk on this side because I've actually not walked on this side in any of my videos, this side of the street. Mm -hmm. This street being Alaskan way. So the, not the vision. Well, yeah, the vision, the plan for this area is to have two lanes going in either direction. There's gonna be a bike path. There's gonna be a bunch of trees too, which is great. So this place is going to have a lot of, uh, it, it's gonna contain a lot of different things, uh, including greenery, you know, trees. There's gonna be a lot of um, sitting areas. I think it's gonna be great from, from what I um, researched. And you can go online and research it yourself too, of course. I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited because I, I actually like coming here a lot. It's a very touristy thing, but I like to come to the waterfront. Last night, the, um, the sunset was amazing. We caught a glimpse of it before hopping on uh, the Ferris wheel, which is a great wheel. And uh, the sun set at a little before nine, I think, last night. And I love these long, long summer uh, days. Gonna miss it. Like the iconic, look at that. I love seeing that the ferry pulling in or pulling out. That's what she said. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm cracking myself up. But yeah, uh, maybe you can see that, see the ferry. The ferry going into all that mist or coming out of, that's a very Seattle Pacific, that's a very Seattle thing. I like seeing that. I don't know why. This is the new um, pathway from the market here from the gum wall. Gum wall's up there and you can take this and it's the most direct way of getting to the Great Wheel uh, from Pike Place Market. And it will be accessible soon. Look at it. Before you had to walk all the way to the wall and then go up a flight of stairs. But now, yeah, very nice. Here you have Seattle uh, Antiques Market here. And uh, next to it, Highway 99 Blues Club. I want to <laughs> I want to say that I checked out this Blues Club before, sometime in the past. I want to say that. And sometime in the past, I mean. Oh, maybe 20 more than 20 years ago I want to say I went there with some friends but man sometimes things are a little blurry when you get to be a certain age true story things get to be a little blurry uh, Sierra Aquarium here's another look at Great Wheel true story when you're younger <laughs> That's nothing you think about, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget things when I get older. Yeah, right. Or I'm gonna put on some weight because uh, you know, when you're young and when you're young, oftentimes you are uh, you uh, you might be skinny, right? And you might think, oh, I'm never gonna, I'm never, I'm, I'm active, I'm skinny, I'm athletic. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, genetics has something to do with that. But okay, going off on a tangent again. Let's get back to business and. We're going to end this video here. That's, that's where business lies for us right now. In it here. Um, 
this place here where I told myself I was going to come here today to get coffee because I noticed in my last video or the video before that that this place also sells coffee but I didn't know how I could come in here and park so I'm studying this right now because it looks like you can actually yeah you can pull in here and park fantastico okay um, I mean these spaces these spaces are um, reserved parking spaces but oh wait one sign says open one sign says closed which is it but I mean you know maybe to grab a cup of coffee real quick it might be fine just looks like a cool print shop that also sells coffee so um, well it says open it not so that sign says open, this one says closed, and upon a closer look, it says open Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., but it's 10 a.m. already. It's already 10 a.m. and they're not open. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to maybe call them first before I decide to stop by. And... Um, Anyway, I almost got coffee there after I failed, after it was a fail at, um, at, uh, where is it that I was trying to go to? <laughs> Storyville. jogging up these streets or <laughs> these steps yeah, I'm trying to get this to go to the one hour mark oh well I'll be darned <laughs> they are open they're open <laughs> they are open at this um okay so the sign <laughs> points to up here it looks like I'm definitely gonna get coffee here next time oh that's awesome a little confusing if you just pay attention to the other sign down there but um, they're open I hear someone playing what sounds sounds like a guitar and it sounds good Whew. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> There's a popcorn place. Yeah, I checked out in one of my previous videos. Huh? And uh, now I'm going to walk back this way toward the park. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> this, this is a longer video. Covered a lot of ground. And I walked... 5,600 plus steps already, which is, I think, a little over two miles. Not bad. And uh, I'm going to be doing more walking today. Nothing that will make it to YouTube because we're going to go on an adventure with uh, Amanda and Esperance from France. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This is a look at what Pike Place looks like on a Sunday in late July. Some, summer 2022 uh, and then hopefully for folks who are worried about safety as far as coming here by way of uh, walking from the Seattle Center area hopefully I gave you some visual as well as uh, verbal useful information as well now I'm going to mm, took my absolute last sip of my coffee I'm gonna look for a place to discard of uh, uh, to throw away this cup find some water <laughs> and uh, go home to meet my wife and her uh, cousin get some lunch and then 
explore some more. All right, from Pike Place Market in beautiful Seattle, Washington, it has been a pleasure serving as your virtual walking buddy today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for walking with me. Take care, and I will see you next time. Peace.